Hi everybody, Michael Stever here with Saturday Nightmares. We are at the landmark Jersey City Lowe's classic, beautiful, 100 year old movie palace. I'm here with John Amplis. Yeah, it's fantastic here. This is the best venue I've ever seen for a horror convention. Yeah, this is kind of the pièce de résistance here of, yeah, uh, of a conventions here, for here anyway. Couldn't be better. Couldn't Glad be to have you here. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. I had you, of course, time. are the star of uh, Martin, the classic uh, vampire, am. George Romero vampire film. I am indeed. I am indeed. Yes. It's um, already 34 years old. Can you believe it? Wow. Well, you can tell when you look at my face. <laughs> I don't know. I think you've been aging pretty well. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm, uh, I'm always gratified when, um, when I'm signing uh, an autograph for Martin, especially, you know, uh, when uh, somebody is, that's been, that was born in 1980 and uh, they still know this film. And uh, so it's had some real lasting power and uh, greatly appreciated. Well, and that, of course, you know, uh, along with uh, George Romero's wonderful direction, uh, you know, is, of course, reflective of your amazing performance. Your, it's, your performance is, you know, we were talking about this. I was very, very taken with uh, the depth and the, uh, the empathy that I felt for your character, you know. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. I was asked yesterday, you know, how, how I did that, and I, I, I really skirted the issue. But, you know, I think it's... It's all about, um, you know, if you, if you have the understanding psychologically of what you need and what you want, um, it expresses itself in, in your body and, in, in, and so it expresses itself physically. And the, uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, action with no dialogue. You know, yes, you've a lot, which uh, I thought was such an interesting choice, you know, on many levels. Yeah, right. I agree. Yeah. Now you uh, you have a quite an extensive theatrical background as well. I do. Yeah, I've been acting. Um, I started in community theater when I was about ten years old, back in the uh, um, 1960 maybe. Um, and um, I am a, an associate professor with uh, Point Park University. We own and operate the Pittsburgh Playhouse, uh, which is a training training program for our um, conservatory company um, for theater, dance, and uh, film and cinematography. And um, I do a lot of, I'm also the associate artistic director of the Playhouse Rep, our professional company. And I direct, um, in fact, I do a lot more directing these days than acting. Um, well, that's what I was going to mention because you, uh, aside from being an amazing actor, you have and as far as working with George Romero, you are very much a jack of all trades. You've worked with, you've worn many hats, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, I, even with George, I've worn uh, yeah. several hats. Yeah, with Don, I did a lot of, um, I did a lot. I got casting credit, uh, but uh, mostly what I cast were zombies, you know, uh, and a lot of them. Uh, but I would assume not everybody can be a zombie. Not everybody can be a zombie. No, <laughs> no, no. We were able to find actually some of the zombies that became kind of lead zombies, you know. Um, but uh, a lot of them were fans that just wanted to be in and around George, George and George's work. Be part of that history. Yeah, absolutely. Well, that seems to be the uh, definitely the case with the people here, you know, that have that have come like you and, and Adrian Barbeau, Tom Savini. It, it seems like he definitely has that. There's a, definitely a family environment, you know, with I, you people that have worked together and you enjoy working together multiple times. That's what I've always said. Uh, working on a set with George is is like working with a family, you know. Everybody gets along, everybody um, everybody pitches in, um, everybody is... Uh, everybody gets their hands dirty. Everybody gets their hands dirty and everybody uh, everybody likes each other, you know, and it's it's really due to the fact the way George is, you know, he has an even temper, temperament and um, easy to get along with and humor and and so uh, he makes it very comfortable for, for actors and crew alike. That's wonderful. It is. Now you, um, as far as the social commentary that is often associated with uh, George Romero's work, I mean, what are, your, what are your thoughts on that? Were you cognizant of that from the beginning? Or uh, how is it you, uh, you take it? No, honestly, I... I, I uh, <laughs> 
I'm not asking if you're a Democrat or a Republican. I'm just curious. Uh, well, I'm very liberal, so that'll give you a point. That's wonderful. You, sense. <laughs> um, you know, as an actor, not so, not so much am I concerned with the social commentary as I am with the story. Right. And, uh, but the social commentary is, is in the story. You know, it's in the writing, it's in the directing. And uh, that's where it becomes apparent to people that watch his films. And I'm sure he always has a point of view that he's attempting to get across. Um, so um, all of that social commentary really comes from him. Um, I, for myself as an actor, you know, I become aware of it kind of after the fact. Right. <laughs> uh, when I see the finished product and, uh, and, and, and actually see, you know, what he's saying. You know, in the uh, in the end product is where I where I understand what he where where he was headed. Well, you've got a good head on your shoulders. Well, thank you so much. Thank I you for for uh, sitting down and talking with me. It was my pleasure to do so. Anytime. Thank you, John. All right.